Photos are generally stored on your computer as JPEGs. You should compress them to a size of no more than 90K using your photo editing tool. For best results from scanned photos, we recommend they are between 50 dpi and 100 dpi, and no more than 90k each. The simplest way to think of photos is in relation to the pixels on a computer screen, which is quite often 800 pixels wide. So a photo 200 pixels across will take a quarter of the screen, and one 400 pixels will take half of the screen. If you are using small preview thumbnail images, that click to open a larger image, then typically you would want the larger image to be 600 pixels wide. Before you insert a photo on your web pages, you will need to have it in your file store. It is better to load them before editing your web page, although you can upload a photo whilst in the customised page editor if you have forgotten to upload it beforehand. From the file store, I'll select Upload from the Actions box. Then browse to find my picture on my computer. When I have found it, I will double click to select it. Then I select Get Files, and my photo will upload into my file store. And you will see the information about the photo. I shall now select to go back to my file store. Many of the templates have photos on them, so I can quite simply replace those photos with my own. I'll open this web page by clicking on it. From within the customised page editor, I'll select the picture, then select Change Style. Now I will select Use Image from File Store, and then I'll choose this photo. Alternatively, I could select to use a photo from the library. These are photos provided by ZyWeb. Now I shall insert a new photo. I'll select this paragraph next to my desired position for the photo. Then in the editor, I'll select the Insert New option and Image, and then click the Below button to insert the new photo below the selected paragraph. I'll select the photo as before from my file store, and then click on the photo that I want. It is now placed on my web page. Now I will insert a photo with a picture frame. The frames option allows me to display my images in a picture frame or with special effects on them. I will put a picture here. So I'll select this paragraph and then insert a new image below it. Now I will select the frames option. I will choose this one. Now I should select a photo to go in my frame from my file store. I'm happy with this photo, so I will click Accept and the photo is on my page. The last thing I should do is select the picture and align it flush left to wrap the text around the picture. Notice that you can align the text in several ways, as shown on these buttons. We have prepared some very useful articles for you about photos and other useful subjects. You can access these how-to guides from within your file store. I hope that you can see how easy it is to put photos on your web pages. But remember these four golden rules.